Your cousin. That cousin? The super cousin? Oh, please. Call me Clark. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the Elseworlds crossover, so it's coming up tomorrow night, so on Sunday night, so get ready for that. Really excited. But they've just released three new sneak peeks into the crossover. We've got quite a lot to break down, so I'm going to be going through all of those. All the links will be in the description below to the sneak peeks, so you can watch them if you haven't watched them already. In these sneak peeks, it teases the ideas of what's going to be coming in the crossover, like the dynamics mainly, I would say. Nothing too much as to the plot, but we're going to be breaking it down anyway, and there's some amazing scenes in these sneak peeks. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. And so, in the first sneak peek, we're not going to be going through these chronologically, but we get to see Barry and Oliver breach into Earth-38 on the Smallville Kent farm, and you get to see a very confrontational Lois Lane. So this is our first actual look at Lois Lane in the crossover, played by Elizabeth Tullock, and she's holding a hammer, and she holds that hammer up for a very, very long time. Like, who the hell are these guys? And so this is when Kara speeds in somehow, Kara hears it probably with her super hearing, she's probably visiting the Kent House farm at this time, and Barry and Oliver come for help, and so they meet Supergirl, and Kara's like, whoa, 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 Lois, these are my friends. And then Oliver and Barry are like, do you know who we are? Do you know, are we actually Oliver and Barry? And this just teases the dynamic of how Kara and everyone on Earth-38 hasn't actually been affected like everyone on Earth-1, so everyone on Earth-1 believes that Oliver is Barry and Barry is Oliver and so there's this sort of Freaky Friday situation but they don't switch bodies we'll talk about that in a minute in another sneak peek but essentially Kara is sort of a bit confused but then Barry played by Steven actually shows that he is actually got the powers of the Flash and this is sort of where we leave in the sneak peek but additionally in the scene we get the meeting of the Flash and Green Arrow meeting Superman. So this is just incredible, like it's hilarious seeing like them puffing their chests out, sort of being really fanboyish. Like if you remember back to Supergirl a while ago, when Superman met Wynn for the first time it was the same thing, he sort of just freaked out and in this case it's Oliver pumping out his chest and Barry sort of like, is this the super cousin? So a total fanboy moment and it's really great. And like Clark Kent, so sort of like unfazed by it, and he's just, you know, Superman. So I'm looking forward to these scenes, especially. And so we move on to the next sneak peek, and this is inside Earth One, and this is in Central City. You can see the first shot of the sneak peek is actually Barry and Iris's apartment, but in the air there is some sort of weird type of lightning or some sort of weird energy, and that is probably, and this is really, really early on in the first episode of the crossover and so we actually go inside the apartment and you hear Iris's voice and Barry, played by Steven, gets out of bed and he is incredibly confused. This is the point where we as the audience are going to realise, oh shit, this has actually all been switched around and so with reality being changed, this is going to be one of the first scenes as to everyone realising what the hell is going on. So Iris is convinced that Oliver is actually Barry, and Stephen plays the scene so well, like, he is so confused as the character, and then at the end it's like, I love you Barry Allen, and he's like, I love you Iris West. So he sort of plays along with it, because obviously Iris is so adamant that she believes that he is Barry, and so this leads on to the next scene, and this is probably a little bit after it. I really do hope we get a Barry scene with Felicity, that would be hilarious as well. And so we go to the Arrow Cave, and we see Steven sort of being, sort of the Barry persona, sort of like, with the notebook and things like that, that was kind of a nice touch. But then you hear the Salmon Ladder, and it's in fact Grant Gustin doing it as Oliver Queen, and it's hilarious because essentially, their powers have changed, their bodies have changed, Oliver doesn't have the scars, and so Barry's able to do this without his super speed now because he's got the strength of Oliver Queen, so they've essentially just switched, but they haven't switched bodies, they've switched sort of the inner personas of themselves, and Steven as Barry is adamant that they must change this because 
he reveals to our Barry that he in fact woke up next to Iris West and that is hilarious. Like Barry's reaction is just like, we have to change this. This is wrong. So obviously I don't think Barry's actually woken up with Felicity in this instance. From the scene, I don't think that's going to happen, but I do wish there is a scene where we get sort of like an intimate moment between Felicity and Grant Gustin playing Oliver. I think that'll be hilarious. We look at, and then we also look at a damaged computer screen and you see some flickers of their past actually being switched over with not very good Photoshop, but that's definitely done on purpose. That's why they're saying weird because it's all altered in a way that is very obvious. So like Mayor Queen is the green arrow and you see Grant Gustin's face on Stephen Amell's body essentially. And so the overall tone of this crossover I think at the start in these few scenes these are all from episode one it's going to be very very light-hearted sort of like a discovery maybe like a coming of age sort of feel because they are coming into the mindsets that are in this really really strange situation and they don't know what has happened why they've switched but everyone else surrounding them truly believes they are each other and so i do believe as the crossover goes on it's going to get a bit darker and darker and darker and as we get introduced to the villains and batwoman i think it's going to get a bit brutal and i think it's going to get much darker than this light-hearted tone we've had at the start Moving on to a Collider interview with Melissa Benoist, Melissa actually was able to talk about the crossover and she says in regards to the Freaky Friday situation it's really comedic the whole thing so I think people get a kick out of it and so Kara is able to realise that this is sort of like the Freaky Friday situation, she knows that they're actually themselves but she can see that their powers have been switched around and so she does confirm it's going to be very comedic until Obviously, we get that dark twist with Batwoman, with Doctor Destiny, with all of this, with them trying to change reality once again. So they're going to have to try and revert it, and I think at one point they will definitely do that sometime later in the crossover. And also, in this, Melissa actually confirmed Kate Kane is Bruce Wayne's cousin, and that is a major reveal. Because in the comics, in New 52, they actually were cousins, but before then, as far as I know, was not really related as far as I can actually remember. But yes, in the New 52, they're cousins. So it's not a massive reveal, but it sort of confirms the sort of story that they're going with. Probably a more New 52 storyline where they actually made them canonized as cousins. And if you've watched like any of the animated films, you would know that Batwoman is in fact not related to Bruce Wayne, but was inspired to take on the mantle of sort of a hero in situations that Batman wouldn't do so they weren't actually related in those films so I'm guessing a lot of you guys probably have watched those over maybe reading the comics so it is in line with New 52 but if you've watched those films you would know that essentially they aren't related so that is the iteration they're going for and additionally the only last thing that I actually want to talk about is the final teaser from that Collider interview and it's when they say, can you tease anything we're going to see between Kara and the Elseworld Superman? And Melissa says, I think you can expect some really dynamo fight scenes. So just teasing the idea of what Black Suited Superman is going to do in this crossover. And the fact that we actually get to see Clark Kent as his normal self is amazing, like in the Smallville Kent House Farm. And so Tyler is going to be a massive thing in this crossover. So if you like Superman from Supergirl, like myself, you should be very excited because I think Tyler does an amazing job and looking forward to this. So just before we end off this video, I just want to remind you guys that we're doing a Crisis on Earth X DVD giveaway. So all you need to do to enter that is follow the details in the description below. In which to enter the competition, you have to leave a like on this video, leave a comment on this video, so obviously subscribe to this channel and also subscribe to my film channel, that's my second channel. It would mean so much if you actually did that. I'm going to be having an exclusive early review of Aquaman coming up very, very soon for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.